And with that, I should be in focus. Today is um, something that I didn't think I'd talk about, but it's after I saw a picture from Ranger Board that was taken by someone, and it's the way that Bandai are going back to making their Power Ranger toys. Well, the I'm guessing the, the anniversary, the, the pyramid box, or the kind of triangular box, or whatever you want to call it. And I think this is really cool. Now, what I think would have been really, really unique if they'd actually done it pretty much like the um, the old figures. You know, the ones that we used to get for a kid. Now, I was, while I was thinking about this video, um, and thinking about the toys, it reminded me about how much the price was. And the price then, I think, was like five quid, or five pounds, which would be around about, say, almost like ten dollars. Um, or eight dollars or whatnot for this actual product and I kind of miss these figures now normally at the moment you get figures like this. you get figures like that and then that normally costs around about eight to ten pounds and you can think of what you're getting for the box so effectively what you're getting is the figure a card because that only goes in the Gose mo uh, Morpha thing and a blaster and his power sword and then that's it and then all the other ones come with it and it kind of makes me think on kind of makes me think on having stuff for like old toys and how much they are and how much we appreciated them but back in the day we we're like why this why can't this be more accurate more um, more articulate than just literally that but if you kind of think about it these sorts of toys were actually kind of cool for us now I my first ever one was like action Billy went chopped his arm and he was like that and that's it and then obviously you got other ones that kicked or twist their body or whatnot and it kind of makes me miss these sorts of days now Power Rangers used to be really really huge um, toy wise uh, down like a while ago um, and this was because of oh, it's just because it sold out so well, but when I see toys like that, it kind of makes me appreciate the past and think I'm not really going to spend eight pounds, or I'm just going to wait till they come in the sale, and then I'll I'll get them that way. Um, which so it kind of makes me think, hmm, I, I don't know. It, when seeing this picture, it brought back nostalgia. Um, but I do kind of think that the, the Power Ranger toy line now is going back to 2010. Not like the products wise, but everything is released. So you kind of think that on a 2010 thing or this sort of year now which is 2014 or whenever you see it, it is 2014. Um, but with the toy line, obviously I can see the original Rangers coming out but I would really like to see a Rita Repulsa. Not the small one that was released in 2010 which was the same size as that. Uh, I do actually have, but I would quite like to see a, a full-scale Rita rather than a Lord Z, but because we've had Lord Z quite a few times, it'd be nice. I would kind of like to see the older toys, some of the bad guys being done. Maybe all the bad guys, bad boy guys, um, all the bad guys or anything like that. I think that would be kind of cool to see. Um, but I don't know, I just after seeing this picture, it kind of brought back feelings of nostalgia and stuff like that. And then someone posted on there, would we ever get a Rocky? I don't know because it would be the same figure and the only thing you'd have is just the box that says different. Um, so I'm very interested to see what they're going to bring out soon. Are they going to continue on? So, you know, are we, are we going to get a Rita? I want a Rita. Um, so if you want a Rita as well, pop down in the comments and say yes or no on that one. So that's kind of really my thoughts on that uh, on that particular version. I know it was just a random video and I saw these ideas and I thought, oh, I would like to talk about that. So I would like to see the older figures, the bulky ones, the big ones, because um, obviously it's the same sort of design. I think it'd be kind of really cool. Um, but one thing I would like to add, with all this sort of stuff coming out, like the legacy toy line, um, I would like to see more stuff given free. like. If you looked at, say, the Dragon Sword back in 93, uh, 94, whenever the toy came out, it was definitely 93. You got like a big Green Ranger, and you know, it was Green Ranger and Dragon Sword. I would like to see that again. I think it would be interesting to have free toys like that um, come with it, because looking at it, I know you get the just the Dragon Sword, it, I don't know, it doesn't come with any electrics, it's just two extra hands, that's all you get. So if they do the Tiger Zord, which they're bringing out, I would like to see them it come with a, a White Ranger figure. Um, also, yeah, that's what I want, or a Power Coin. That would be kind of cool. I always want. I, I always didn't know why it was a wild cat on um, the coin. It looked really weird. But when I used to play Power Rangers with my friends, that's the coin that he'd have. I'd be like, oh, I don't want to be an Orange Ranger. I want to be a White Ranger. Why can't I be a White Ranger? I'd be like, you can't play a White Ranger. I'm the White Ranger, it's my coin. 
<laughs> okay, so your question is, would you like to see a Rita Repulsa figure of uh, the same size as the old toys um, to come out as the for the 20th toy line? Because I would. Um, so yeah, so click on the videos down below. Um, check out my other games channel, um, Yasa Games, where we're going to be bringing you more stuff. And also you can see the previous video. So if you've liked this video, like, favorite, comment, and subscribe. And I shall see you guys in a bit.